Hello everybody, good afternoon. Welcome to Fiber Town, episode 118. It's August 20th, 2015. I'm Emily, Chain of Fools on Ravelry. And what else? Um, Instagram, I'm Fiber Town with an RE. I'm on iTunes, I'm on YouTube. I'm on lots of places. I'm on Periscope now, um, which is something that I'm still figuring out. I'm not exactly sure what it's for, but other people seem to know, and I'm learning, so yeah, so check me out there. I'm also Fibertown there. Today I'm wearing my wash, my first washi garment, my washi dress. Put a bird on it, washi dress, and I'm in my craft room because it's dreary and it's going to storm, so I wanted to stay off of the porch. Um, I no longer have a couch in front of my great big map right here. Um, someday, when I can afford it, I hope to get a um, cozy armchair to record from and put it there. But for now, the craft room is lacking in comfy seating. My giant tri triangle loom is on the rocking chair, balancing there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. How is everyone? Um, yeah, it's been, what, 10 days, or maybe two weeks since I've recorded. Um, you know, just family stuff, being with the kids in the summer, I don't have this the um, consistent schedule that I do during the school year. Plus, I've been working a wee bit as well. And frankly, I've been designing, and that process has sucked me in. And I wanted to get to a certain stage before I talked to you all. I felt like I had to get to a certain place where I knew that things were probably going to work out before I could sit down and share what I've been doing. And it's going to be short because all I've been doing is designing really. And I don't want, I'm not ready to share it with you. So, <sighs> sorry, it's my phone. Um, at any rate, yes, we have a giveaway today. We have talk of another giveaway and some more businessy things I'd like to talk about as well as works in progress, spinning, weaving, and acquisitions. So, um, this is Pam, my dress form, wearing wearing one of my, um, actually my only triloom finished object, which is a shawl made entirely, woven entirely out of hand spun, super cushy. And um, I've worn it a couple nights, and I love it. And, uh, yeah, you can see that the weave really does stay put. Somebody was asking me about that. Oh, seriously. Sorry. You know what? I'm going to pause this. Okay, where was I? Um, I wanted to say a quick thank you to a lovely anonymous donor who I suppose via my blog, fibertown.blogspot.com, made a wee donation to the podcast. And thank you so much. She did not want to be, have her name said, um, but thank you so much. It is so appreciated, especially when I am getting ready to finish the summer of S, which is a magnificent knit along with tons of inspiration and over a thousand posts in the Ravelry thread and I think 10 plus prizes to be mailed out and shipping is terrible these days. So thank you. Um, in that vein, I wanted to ask about... Um, doing a poll on the group. Ravelry has a poll feature, and I'd like to um, poll you guys about how you watch the podcast. Um, I think, you know, I'm pretty sure I get most of my viewers on iTunes. However, I've been watching more and more podcasts on YouTube, and I'm getting a little jealous of the podcasters who do this and spend no money to do it. So... However, I don't want to lose folks, and I will continue to, to fund the podcast on iTunes if I'm going to lose people, because I like, I love talking to you guys, I love it when you comment, I love the interactions, um, it's why I do this. So, therefore, um, I'm going to put up a poll and find out if it really does matter to you. I like iTunes podcasts myself because I can put them on Downcast, for example, and I can play them at um, a little higher speed than, um, you know, than normal, like one and a quarter speed, 
which means I can get through the podcast faster. I don't miss anything. They don't sound like, um, you know, what is a chipmunk. And um, I can do that with almost every podcaster, except, you know who talks too fast for that? Joanna Spring, the New Yorker. Memers is a New Yorker. I can put her on one and a quarter, and she sounds fine. Just goes a little faster. If you put Joanna Spring on one and a quarter, forget about it. <laughs> She's a fast talker. And she has a lovely podcast, and she does the Knit Spin Farm podcast. So anyway, so I do like having podcasts on, podcasts on iTunes. I'm just noticing a trend with more and more on YouTube, and I want to get some input. Okay, the other businessy thing is the Ravelry Group. I am, the Ravelry Group is, has been hovering around 900 members for, I don't know, six months. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I want to do a giveaway incentive. Uh, when the podcast reaches 1,000 members, I don't know when that will be, I will be giving away a skein of Volmiza Fingering Late. What? I know. I like having people in my Ravelry group, and I'd like to encourage you to join. It's the only way you can win prizes, and plus, you can chat and win, you know, make new friends. So, um, I'm going to put up another thread, which is, uh, this is a rare chance for, for us to kind of crowdsource favorite Volmiza colorways because um, this skein of Volmiza will be will be custom purchased. Mm -hmm. My friend Sarah who lives in Germany and it is getting ready to come back to the States will be visiting Volmiza one more time. And I've asked her to get a skein for the podcast. So whatever colorway gets the most mentions or votes or so forth in this thread will be the color she hopefully purchases, as long as it's available. So probably we'll have like a top three. Um, so yeah, that thread will be opened as well for you all to go in and put, put in your two cents. Go on Ravelry and see what colorways are out there. And um, it could be twin or pure, I think, a fingering weight. And um, they're really good yardage and yeah, not super easy to get. Okay, that is all for the business. Um, except for the giveaway. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Firefly Fiber Arts. Twisted Mommy, Twisted Mommy Yarn, Twisted Mommy Fiber. I don't know, my son took my phone. Look at the gorgeous fiber. She generously sent this as a giveaway. You all saw this last time. It's purple. I'm not going to untie it again. I bagged it nicely back up. It's a gorgeous three plus ounces of fun buns. How fun is that? She calls them fun buns. And gorgeous stitch markers. You can bring it back, lovey. Thank you. I have my phone back. You got a few texts. I got a few texts? Okay. I love your hair. Okay. Oh. <sighs> it's the day of interruptions. I'm podcasting anyway. It seems like I haven't had a good chance. Anyway. Gorgeous, lovely stitch markers. And do you know who won this? Numbers, oh shoot. It's number 17. Let me see who that was. I super duper podcaster. Forgot to write down who that was. Now I can't remember my iPad password. Okay, it is Packers in Maine. Packers in Maine. Let me know when you hear about this. Lucky you, you get gorgeous fiber and very cool stitch markers, which I will now put back in their very cute bag. Okay, there's a new podcast I've discovered, and um, I really like international podcasts in particular. Um, this one is called Knitting, Knitting in the City, and it's by Susanna, who is from the Netherlands, and I've, she has maybe three episodes. I've really enjoyed them. And I think I watched them back to back the other night when I was working on my design. And she's she's funny. She's quirky. She's funny. She has cool stories. She's knitting cool things with interesting yarn. So she's on YouTube. Check her out if you feel like you need a new podcast. That is Knitting in the City. Okay, I have zero FOs. 
design has taken over my life. <sighs> Hopefully I'll discuss that design in detail once it's, once it's ready to go there. Um, I am going to be needing test knitters. I would like maybe two test knitters. I already have one lined up. So maybe two more. And uh, it's going to be for a shawl. It could be in fingering, sport, or DK weight. So if you're interested, ping me. All right, works in progress. So there's the design. There is this sock out of Jinx yarn. And I have ball band this time. Uh, this is House Cup. Uh, this is in the Strong Self. Strong Self. <laughs> strong um, Strong Sock. Self Striping, which is Merino Nylon. 400 yards. And it's all of the Harry Potter... Harry Potter... Um, Hogwarts houses. I hope you can't hear my son yelling on the phone. This child has one volume loud. Okay. Gosh. So loud. I think he gets it from his Spanish side. That's what I'm saying. Okay. This is how it looks knit up. And actually, this is going to be for the little guy. It's not so little. He's going to be eight in a few weeks. So I need to knit the next sock. I need to finish this one and knit the next. He is reading Harry Potter 2, the Chamber of Secrets. And he's just newly discovered Calvin and Hobbes. I was like, you know what? You're bored at summer. Read this. And he, he stayed up till all hours reading one night. And this is in my bag from Knit Country. She's going to open a shop. How beautiful is that? She needs to open a shop. Okay, so that's one work in progress. I have another sock, the opal sock yarn. Do I have that one here? No. Um, nothing has happened to that one, so I'm not going to bring it over. I do have my Jan Smiley bag, Jan B. Smiley on Etsy. Um, <laughs> Jan B. Smiley on Etsy. I have um, my Rhinebeck sweater, one of them. I'd like to do another one out of my latest spun fleece, my lamb's fleece. Okay, so a little bit has been done on this, and on this, oh, where is the right color? I had it for a second there. Anyway, um, this is the Irish Coffee by Thea Coleman, and it's a cardigan. It's knit out of yarn that I dyed, and the yarn was spun from wool um, from my friend Patricia's farm, Meduseld, which is also online, meduseldfarm.org or .com. And um, so this is East Frisian and Dorset. And I'm really loving it. So it's it's not hard. It's in the round, obviously, raglan. Um, there's a little v-neck here and then ribbing at the top, uh, ribbing at the yoke, and then cables in the front and the back. So I would really love to be knitting again on this, and fingers crossed soon. I, what I really need is for someone to do some grunt work knitting for me. Somebody who lives in my house or next door or some, somewhere super close. Somebody will come over at a moment's notice and they'll be like, can you please knit these 100 rows? Because I've ripped them out eight times and I'm sick of knitting them. Talking about the design. All right, that is all for works in progress except for spinning and weaving. Um, I'm spinning because I had to do, I had to spin something. It's been a while since I'd used my wheel. And by a while, I mean like two weeks, which is a while for me. So this is Corgi Hill Farm, BFL Silk. Nice ratio there. I love a BFL Silk blend. This is Chili Lime. <clears throat> I do believe this is one of her older um, probably this is fiber that's a bit old already. Not that it is compressed at all. It is not. Hang on. My person is coming back. Come on, sweetie. We don't have to call. We can hear each other. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Um, 
So chili, the, the lime part is already spun. And now I'm working, I just have this left. This is the chili. It's kind of hot pink and like salsa red and orange. And there is, there are definite, you know, some parts of the yarn where it's not saturated all the way through. You know, so that is affecting, it's, it's muting the colors a bit. Um, I would say for the most part, it's well prepped. However, I am definitely finding, I mean, look, I love this actually. You can still see the crimp in the BFL. Can you see the crimp? Yeah. Ugh, can't see it as well as you can in person, but it's there. Um... There are slubs, there are, I mean, there are second cuts. I think it's the wool and not the silk. So it's either second cuts or it's just not optimally blended. It's not a huge deal, I'm just picking them out as I go along. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming this might have been a blend she carried once upon a time and doesn't anymore. I'm not sure about that, but um, so this, this came from a fiber fairy godmother. This was in a D stash, so it's lovely. And I've been wanting to spin it for quite a while. What else do I have? Is that it? Oh, weaving. So I have my triangle loom set up. And I might turn the camera around and show you. This is the yarn I'm using. This is half of the ball. This is Feederbrook Farm. It's another D stash. It's fingering weight 750 yards. And it is, um, I mean, price is pretty great for that. Um, I've already encountered two breaks in it, though. And I'm trying something new. I didn't notice the break until I had woven a couple, quite a few inches past it. And two of the plies were broken and two of them were still intact. So I tied, uh, I pulled off a bit of good yarn and I tied well outside of the break on two ends and um, I will just tighten that when I'm done with the weaving and weave in those extra ends and hopefully that will hold. It's an experiment. So um, brace yourselves, close your eyes if you are seasick and I'm going to show you my my loom over there. Okay, hang on. There it is. Um, Hasn't been touched for a while because <laughs> the design that shall not be named. All right. So yeah, that's how you can see it's balancing on my bookshelves and on the far wall and on the rocking chair. So the last thing I have for you today is acquisitions. And I feel like I should call this treat yourself, like in Parks and Rec, treat yourself. Fine leather goods, mimosas fabric. I feel like though another podcaster already does that for the segment. My segments don't have names, but if I were going to name them, oh seriously. My son was supposed to be at camp today, but they were predicting terrible storms and I decided to let him stay home and it hasn't rained at all. <laughs> when will I learn as a parent? Oh, hey, Luke, hang on a sec. Hey, is this Luke? Okay, hang on. Oliver, come here. Might have to edit this out. I thought I, I thought I had declined that call, and it came through anyway. T keep the phone with you. Oh, okay. It's Luke again. Okay. Okay, treat yourself. Treat yourself. Um fabric. I showed you my schoolhouse tunic last week and I forgot to mention that that was found out about the pattern and was inspired by the schoolhouse tunic of Sarah Pomegranate who does the yarns at Ian Hoo. So I made another fabric.com purchase and I got two fabrics that I love for bags and one for a garment. Here's the first one. I think the fat squirrel used this this fabric. This is Tula. What does it say? Um, I don't know the full name of her company. Moonshine. 
Hang on. Moonshine to the pink for free spirit by Westminster. Westminster. Then this one. Um, which is a lot of Caucasian children catching lightning bugs. I hadn't really realized that there was zero diversity in this fabric. And I like a little diversity. Nevertheless, it is cute. And I'm going to make a gigantic bag out of this because the print is super big. It's going to be a gigantic bag, like for sweaters or blankets. So there's that. And that one is a mic. What is this one? We Wander by Sarah Jane from Michael Miller. This one, oh, love it. I think this is Allison Glass. Doesn't have a selvage with her name on it. Um, but this is a batik, a plum colored batik um, that also does have a sort of a directional print where you have a lot of um, flowers and bits at the bottom and then fewer as you go up. So I need to open this up and sort of investigate, but this wants to be a top. I also picked up some fabric at Joann's um, for curtains. I'm going to sew curtains. I've been doing some redecorating lately and that's going to happen. And the sun's going in and out. It looks like it wants to rain, but nothing. Oh, there was something I wanted to tell you. Um, yeah. Shoot. I'll remember it as soon as we hang up. As we hang up. Are we on the phone? No. Okay, well, I suppose that's all. Congratulations to Packers in Maine. Contact me. Tell me your address. Um, Summer of S is going to, oh, I am. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Summer of S is finishing up. September 1st, end of the day, midnight, my time. I'll close with, well, I'll close the thread at some point. It may be, kind of like an Oompa Loompa. All right, so it'll be closed. Um, so many cool projects in there. Take a look. Um, somebody was saying it's better than Instagram. I tend to agree. Yes, I, there are tons of things now that I want to knit. The other thing is September 5th, I believe, Ross Farm is coming to do a trunk show at Second Story Knits in Bethesda, Maryland, which is about a little bit under an hour away from me. So somehow I've got to get to that trunk show because I know she's got a fleece for me. And uh, you should go see the trunk show. I was going to bring over the yarns I have from them, and I'm just sort of Biding my time, I know. I have two Shetland yarns that are amazing. They're both sport weight, and I think I want to get another white sport weight of some other similar breed, or maybe even a white Shetland, and uh, knit a color work hat. Um, and then let's see, other events coming up. Fiberspace is having a Miss Babs trunk show. And that's one of my local yarn stores, although it's not super local, but it's easy enough to get to. And since I am a preferred customer, I get to go to the VIP night before shopping event. So I'm going to get me a skein of Yowza, a very colorful one. And I think it would actually be really cool for my new shawl design. Now that I'm going to compete with Susan B because she has she cranks out those amazing Yowza shawl designs. Just saying, if you wanted to knit like a DK weight version, then you could. Um, school's about to start. Not soon enough. But that's also an event. What else? Uh, end of September, Shenandoah Valley Fiber Festival. Always a good time to go into that. And I will be going to Rhinebeck. The tickets are bought. The house is rented. The car is rented. I'm super excited. So again, it'll be on my birthday weekend and uh, one of my wedding anniversaries. I married the same man twice. 
in the same year. It's a long story. Um, there was a green card involved. So anyway, I feel a little bad leaving him for that, but he's like, don't worry, we'll, we'll celebrate the next weekend. And we do have two anniversaries after all. So, all right. So that is all. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.